I have gotten subtle things like subtle highlights or balayages done in the past but I've never completely bleached my hair. I do have extremely dark Asian hair naturally. As you can see, I've gotten some um, ashy subtle highlights done to my hair recently. But something that's always been on my bucket list is just to bleach it completely so I just thought I'd give it a go this time. So that's the 30 volume developer I'm going to be using along with this bleaching powder. And then I got... Have you seen what's on top of this bleach? box it says poison let me see it again it's the 30 volume developer i'm going to be using along with this bleaching powder. poison and then i got like an ash blonde color along with a 20 volume developer i also got this no yellow um mask or you can get like the no yellow shampoo um just to tone it in between bleaches so i have been studying online but i just thought i needed a break from my studies and thought i would document this process at the same time so i'm excited to do this and please don't try this at home Please go to a salon and get it done professionally. I've just applied some coconut oil in order to coat and protect my hair. Um, and I'm just going to section it. So. Again, 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 again. I will explain. Do not put coconut oil on your hair if you want to bleach it. It will block the bleach. It's not helping. If you want to put coconut oil on your hair, you can do it a few days before you bleach your hair just to make it strong. Uh, you can put coconut oil after you bleached your hair for restoring uh, your damaged hair. Uh, you can put coconut oil on your hair if you don't bleach the ends, if you want to bleach the regrowth and your ends are too white or, or damaged, you can put coconut oil on the lengths and then you can bleach the regrowth. But if you want to bleach your hair, don't put coconut oil. It will bleach less. It blocking, it's blocking your bleach. It's... Hmm. Let's go. Be somewhere there and I'll just tie it up. So that's the first, All right, so that's the first section. Oh God, I'm nervous about this. Anyway, it's just hair, so it's gonna go back, right? I've also mixed the bleach um, with the developer. I'm not sure if I should back out or... So just wearing some gloves as well. I oh, kinda of wanna back out now, but it's too late. Just adding some... Every time you see a hair fail, they say there's no going back now. Why? There's always a going back. Always. There's no product in your hair now. Throw out the bleach and stop. So I've sectioned it and I'm just going to start the application process. It's really hard to film as I'm doing it. Okay, it's probably going to turn out very patchy as well because the sections are a bit thick. Yeah, I'm probably going to do this off camera so I can do it nicely. Mm, the smell is so strong as well. Okay, I'm just going to do this off camera because it's really hard to film as I do it. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done and um, show you guys what it looks like after I wash it as well. Okay. Hopefully that's saturated enough. No. I know it's going to turn out patchy because I didn't section it well enough. I'm just going to use this plastic bag to cover it up and I'll probably wait an hour and then wash it off. It is this is crazy! I know it's going to be patchy because it's not all covered and I didn't take fine sections. What? You're... It's, you just finished with applying. If you now already know that it's going to be bad, just apply more. Now you can. When you said there's no going back, there is! Now you can change it. You have to wait for an hour to process. Now you can put extra bleach on your hair. I know it's going to be bad, but... What can I do? What can I do? 30 volumes, one hour, it's a long time. If you want to wait for uh, one hour, then you have to apply with 20 volumes. That's better. Less volume and longer time is less damaging your hair. And the first 30 minutes, it's uh, working more. And then the, the last 20 minutes, it's working less. So you have to lift 
extra in the 30 minutes and then one or two levels in the 30 minutes after that. So apply then 30 minutes, rinse it off and then apply it again for a maximum lift or if you want to have healthy hair, less volume, longer time. But now she's using 30 volumes and one hour and it's not covered. This is what it looks like after the first bleach but I'm going to be doing this process again because it hasn't reached the desired level of lightness. Might even need two more bleaches. Hopefully it just needs one more. Let's see. So I just blow dried my hair and this is what it looks like. It looks like a lion's mane. I'm ready for round two so apply. Uh, I'll do that and show you guys what it looks like once it's washed off. I just finished washing the bleach off. It's, it's really late and I'm quite sleepy so I'm just gonna dry my hair and go to bed now. Okay, so that's what it looks like. <laughs> Wet. I still have to dry it so it will be lighter when I dry it. Um, it has gotten lighter and I think my highlights have turned really white um, and the rest is still pretty yellow. Okay, so it's now the next morning and this is what my hair looks like dry. I basically went to bed last night because I started my hair bleaching process basically after dinner. So by the time I was finished with round two, it was pretty late and I was pretty tired. So I just went to bed and this is what it looks like. It's all burnt and damaged. But I am going to do it for a third time because there's still bits of yellow and orange left in my hair. So I'm just going to bleach it one more time. Don't try this at home, but since it was on my bucket list and I always just wanted to do it, I'm just going to go all out and just do it. And I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so I've just finished application number three. I didn't have a lot of bleach left over, so it's not very um, evenly distributed. I'm just going to put my head in a plastic bag and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I wash it off. If it's not evenly on your hair, how can you expect an even result? It's your third bleach then you have to expect that it's, it's going to be nice. Otherwise, why bothering the time, the money, the damage on your hair? Take the time to have a good application. Most of the fails is because the application is not good. Do your research. There are enough videos about from me and from other hairdressers that are explaining how you should do it at home. That's why YouTube exists. Do your research. Okay, so I just washed my hair and as expected, my hair feels like gum. Noodles and they're breaking off, but that was expected and I knew. So this is natural lighting and it looks pretty light. I'll tone my hair and show you guys what it looks like. If you tone your hair when it's that blonde, you see the regrowth is yellow. It's really, it's really near orange. So you have to put a dark gray on the regrowth and then a lighter gray on the length. That will be more beautiful. If you put a gray color all over the hair, regrowth and length, then it will be different in shades and the regrowth will be more yellow because it's more orange. So if you put a darker, like shadow roots, maybe go with black slightly, darker roots and then lighter gray on the length. But let's see how she did it. So this is the final result. I basically washed and toned and straightened my hair. So I initially used the light ash blonde color and I really wasn't liking the color. It wasn't dark enough. So then I went ahead and purchased the dark ash blonde instead. Um, and then I applied that with developer and this is the result. I quite like the results. Uh, of course, the quality of my hair has been compromised. So I'm going to have to apply a lot of coconut oil, hair masks and some Olaplex treatments. Other than that this is what it looks like in natural lighting and I had fun experimenting with my hair and just filming this video so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time
So the first toning was not good. It was, but we didn't see the result of that. It was too light, uh, maybe too orange or yellow. Did I like it? It was not that bad. It was a good gray, but you see the yellow tones uh, between the gray tones and you saw the regrowth was also yellow. So I, I should use darker gray, nearly black on the roots. It matches more with the eyebrows. It's really damaged and now she can't put coconut oil on the legs. Uh, and she's going to use Olaplex and Olaplex is a good thing. I'm wondering why she did, why she's not used uh, Olaplex in the bleach. That's also a good product. If you use Olaplex, it will less damage your hair. You have to process your bleach longer because it reduces your volume, but your hair will come out more healthy. So if it's possible, uh, use Olaplex or you know it, people that are watching my videos, I'm a big fan of Blonde Me. There's some kind of Olaplex already inside the Blonde Me uh, product, bleach. So that's better. She says bleached three times in 24 hours. Uh, she bleached three times and she toned. But the last tone was with developer, with a volume. So that's really a color. So it's five times uh, processed your hair and she's very lucky she has strong strong hair uh, otherwise if you have fine hair then it's it's finished it falls out if you like this video it's a very short video uh, please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel press that notification bell and you can follow me on Instagram and you can also follow me on TikTok. all I'm going to say today is ciao kiss